Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I've got a new tool to show you, and we're going to use it to cut up some of this pipe that I've needed to get cut up for the last week, and I only had one plan for today. My, my entire outlook was that I was going to spend today cutting that pipe up. Well, it was supposed to rain last night, and it's supposed to rain tonight, but it wasn't supposed to rain today. Well, it's been raining all day. So now the day's half over. I'm finally out here to work. It looks like it's going to rain again. Hopefully, I can get a little bit done. My video two days ago talked about buying inexpensive tools, and what we have here is an inexpensive tool. Relatively inexpensive. It's still a lot of money, but it's cheaper than it would be if I got it from another brand. This is a Vivor brand, the portable bandsaw, porta band. And I had the option to get this with either a cordless version or a corded version with a stand. And the price wasn't that much difference between them, but I decided to go with the corded version, maybe make sure it has a little more power. And in a lot of cases, that stand might be worth having compared to the handheld. Okay, looks like we have two blades that came with it. Doesn't look like it has any setup. It looks like it's ready to go out of the box, other than actually putting the blade on. It's like two screws you have to remove on the front. Pull these back so you can put the blade on. I think these blades for all of these portable band saws of any brand, these are all gonna be universal. So you can go anywhere that sells tools and pick up replacement blades. You don't have to order those from Vivor. And there's a handle on the back that puts the tension on this. So we're letting the tension off. I've slid the blade in between these little roller wheels down here. And if we can put our little covers back on, kind of handy if these were like a twist handle here so you didn't actually have to remove anything to take the blade off. My video title the other day was a little bit tongue in cheek. But it was called you get what you pay for and i talked about with a tool like this i don't want to pay a premium price because i'm probably not going to use it that often although the more i think about it the more i think about all the things i've cut in the last few years with an angle grinder that would have been so much easier with one of these saws so this actually may be something that i use a lot cool thing about this pipe is I thought I was going to be hauling it off for scrap metal. Now I found a new project and this pipe that I waited so long to throw away, now it's going to save me some money. This has kind of an interesting locking system here where you can push it forward easily, but to back it off, you have to lift, it, lift this little tab which has threads on it and that's what locks it in. So basically I need to cut this pipe off as long as possible so it's still usable. So I've locked it down in one spot there and rotate that in. Oh, dang I didn't do that on purpose I thought that was cutting a little bit slow that pot that pipe where I cut it had concrete through it I just cut through three inches of solid concrete with that thick wall metal pipe on the outside of that that was not intentional but it sure cut it probably a really fast way to dull the blade out but not that cutting pipe is necessarily easy either Let's try cutting a piece of this. This is not pipe, it's solid rod. About three quarter inch diameter solid rod.
solid material cut through it like nothing so basically now I feel like this is a good choice for cutting this pipe and this rod because I've cut it with a grinding wheel and that was much slower now, there's so much of this to cut though like this I need to get this into usable lengths manageable lengths The clamping system seems to be pretty sturdy and easy to use. That's something that really matters and could be a big hassle. That we slide that in, drop that down, crank it. I'm not putting any down pressure on this at all. I'm just letting it walk itself down. And it, you can feel it kind of pulse as it works its way down. And just don't get in too big a hurry is my thought. I mentioned that I wasn't sure if I wanted the portable version or the one that came with the stand because when you have the ability to use a stand that's so much better but you don't always have that ability so what I did was get this one that has a stand but it's also removable from the stand you take a nut off the back and now we have a truly portable unit now this is a twisted mess of pipe and I might get the pallet forks out in a minute or the grapple and try to pull some of this apart. Hey, what if you don't have that option? That's where a portable unit has an advantage. Feels like it's really nice having the stability of that base so that your blade's not flexing through the cut. Also feels like with the base, it pivots down so nice and under control. Let's see how it feels up here in comparison. If you are interested in getting one of these portable bandsaws or any other kind of tool from Vivor, I'll have a link in the description of the video and the pinned comment that gives you 5% off your order. So when I first picked it up and started cutting, it was... Kind of fighting me this way making it shake around realize if i put this end up against it it would be it would ride down more under control once i figured that little detail out not bad at all now for a time reference on how long it took that to cut has a really really thick wall pipe now let's see if we can get this one lifted up. Ugh, this sucker's all bent. There we go. I think I'll put a piece of pipe under it to support this, but it's not setting on the ground. All right, walked right through that. I think we'll take this pipe down close to the bend and make our next cut. I don't like reading the instructions, but maybe I should every once in a while. There's a couple things on this that are loose that should be tight, and they send you, anytime they send you hex keys, it's probably a good sign to assume you need to tighten things down one is this adjustment right here for the angle of the handle it's nice that it can move but it was moving when I didn't want it to okay then better unplug it for this little blade guide right here was flopping around looks like the neighbors are here to pick up the hay see them driving across the field over there 
Hey, what? This is our first day of the nice weather. Been in the 90s every day. And this week, the highs are in the high 70s, low 80s, but a lot of high 70s. But it was ushered in by this rain, which meant I couldn't really get anything done today. But this little bit of whatever I get done on this pipe, it's progress more than if I just stayed in the house. All right, next thing I'm going to cut is this one here that's bent too. You know, several people mentioned I could probably just post online that I had scrap metal available and someone would come pick it up for the metal price. But most people couldn't fit this in their vehicle. Maybe those are resourceful guys. A lot of them are just trying to do it with a pickup truck, which is why I didn't haul it off to begin with. All the pieces are so long, it's, it's hard to just haul it off like that. I think I'll make cuts on each side of this T again. I definitely say if you're new and have never used one of these, I've used the bigger ones where you just push the button and it goes all by itself in a metalworking shop. You need to treat this the same way. You don't want to push on it. Just let it walk itself down. Really just trying to sort through where this is all crisscrossed so I can separate pieces at this point. I think I need a lighter block to put under here. This and weighs a ton. I would bet that for the most part I will use this in its base, but today it's really nice that it's removable. What a mess. Make your bed. Better than me, right? You gotta at least do better than me. I don't wanna make a cut anywhere I can reach here. I wanna really probably go grab this stack and move it. I see one spot over here that's good to cut. That is a tangled mess. Let me see if I can pull it apart so it's easier to work on. Hey, this one's actually still connected to the cross piece. First one I've seen like that. So the longer I'm out here, the more the rain picks up and I am using a plug-in power tool. Might not even be that smart. It's actually supposed to storm here within the next hour. I guess I'm going to call it a day for this today and have to finish it up later. I may get another tool to compare to this one and just see if this is the best tool, but I'll be surprised if anything affordable cuts better than this. So anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.